Good morning children. This poem is about a cat. Now let us all take page number 30 and let's see the warm up. What do cats do? Match the pictures to the words in the box. So children you can see few pictures here as well as the words in between. So you have to match these words with the concern pictures. So you can do this as a homework. Now let's look into the poem. As I told you the poem name is A View of a Cat. And this poem it's a funny poem about a cat and this poem is written by the poet named Stephanie. So before starting shall I ask you one thing? Do you all love cats? You do right? Why you love cats? They are very cute and attractive and they are also playful right? And they try to play with us. You might have seen right at home itself wherever we go they follow us right? Coming behind us making noise making sounds meow meow. So it's very cute right? So today we are going to learn about a pet cat. And can you see the poem in the page number 31? It's in the shape of a cat. It's nice right? So let us read and understand. Before that I will give you a short summary of it. So as I have already told you this poem view of a cat is written by the poet named Stephanie. And she tells about the life of a cat in this poem. The cat describes its daily routine in poet's house. So this cat stays in poet's house. And what are the activities it does? Chasing a mouse and sharpening its claws. So the poem ends with a note on a bond of love between the poet and her pet. Now let us read the poem and understand the poem. Okay, So all look into your reader. I sleep on your bed making it my own and when you are away I am at home all alone. So what does the poet says? The cat is, about, is telling that it sleeps on the bed of poet and when you are away I am at home all alone. So when the cat doesn't see the poet in and around the house it feels all alone. I walk around the food bowl sniffing out what's there and if there's nothing good I look at you and stare. So what happens here? The cat walks around all the rooms of the house. It walks around. Actually what it does first thing if it is not finding us it will look for us right. So likewise it also looked all around. It was walking all, all around the house and sniffing. Sniffing means smelling something. It smells its bowl, food bowl. Food you know the bowl in which we keep the food for the cat and it comes and eat it right. So likewise in this poem also the uh, cat goes to the bowl and starts smelling it. And if there is nothing good I look at you and stare. So what happens? The cat goes and smells the bowl, food bowl. And if it's nothing good in the sense if it's not good it, if the cat doesn't likes it it starts staring at the poet. Why? Because it's, he's not happy with the food so he wants something else instead of that. So I curl up near the fireplace warming up my paws. So children what is the meaning of curl here? The word curl is to sit in a position with your arms and legs close to your body. So the cat was sitting 
it, it was making it comfortable to warm itself, to warm its paws. So, it was sitting near to the fireplace. So, uh, keeping his arms and legs near to the body. So, he was making uh, the position comfortable, his position comfortable and was trying to get warm up. I pounce upon the scratch post sharpening my claws. So, what is the word means pounce? You can see down to jump quick, quickly to catch something. So, what happens? The cat pounce upon the scratch post and started sharpening its claws. So, it jumped towards the scratch post and started scratching its claws. You might have seen right the pussycat does this when it is at home also or it goes outside and it tries to sharpen its claws maybe on the wood uh, on the wood piece or like maybe on the walls you might have seen right. So, likewise the cat also was uh, sharpening its claws. I see a mouse in front staring straight at me. I run and try to catch it but it run, runs away from me. So, what happens here? The cat sees a mouse and runs towards it to catch it and it goes behind it and it chases it. But what happens? The rat escapes and the cat is not able to catch the mouse. So, we have seen lots like this at home also. The same thing happened with the poet's cat. See, I am so cute, so gorgeous with my fur. When you stroke my head, I close my eyes and purr. So, what does this last stanza means? See, the cat is telling that I am so cute and attractive with my fur. Seriously, the cat looks very cute with the fur, right? And what is fur? The word mean, what does it mean fur? The word fur, it is a soft hair which covers the body of the animal. So, we have seen all the cats have fur which looks very cute. So, when you stroke my head, I close my eyes and purr. So, stroke, the word stroke means to move one's hand gently on something. That means here in this poem, the poet was gently moving the hands over the head of the cat. So, he was feeling comfortable. So, he closed, the cat closed its eyes and purr. What is the meaning of the word purr? Purr, it shows the cat is in a good mood. It is actually making a quiet noise, making a you know um, like feeling it comfort comfortable when the poet is moving her hands round the head of the cat and it is the cat is expressing its emotion towards the poet like showing his love and care in return to the poet. So, now you have seen it is the poem is telling about the cat and we all know about the cat and we most of us have a pet cat at home, right? Cat at home. So, we know what the activities of the cat is when it is at home and when it is going out. So, likewise here the poet also shares its the cat's, its cat's feeling and the daily activities. So, I hope you have understood the poem and we will just continue with the exercise of the same in the next class. Okay? So, I want you all to read the poem again and understand if you do not know the meaning of a particular word kindly find out the meaning of it and write it. Okay, children? So, that is all for today's class. We will meet up in the next class. So, till then, bye.